Ranger here with Ready Up Gaming. I'm sitting here with Hastro from Envy. How you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? Doing pretty good. So you guys got a tough break versus Ep Epsilon. How do you feel the team performed this event? Uh, you know, we actually didn't play all that bad. I mean, we just had some simple mistakes that we made, and um, you know, that's all it really takes. It costs you the event mm -hmm. early on. I mean, yeah. the the real the real thing that hurt us is that first match that we lost versus Conquer. I mean, we pretty much had it all wrapped up. It was down to the last 12 seconds, and <laughs> We just made a really, really bad call, like a 2v1 situation, and uh, Nifty from Conquer just capitalized on it. I mean, literally, he had to make the play, too, and he, it was just really kind of, just really bad luck on, I don't know, fate, I guess. But, and he, um, he became a rock star in about 15 seconds yeah, off of that yeah, one play. Awesome. He's an awesome kid, man, <laughs> super nice kid, and uh, he's got a bright future for sure, he's really skilled. But um, that, that was really rough for our team, I think. If we would have won that match, we would have been perfectly fine this turn. We would have kind of ran through it, but um, you know that that cost us. We went to the losers bracket, won a couple matches there, but then we had a face off against uh, Impact, and um, you know had a rough hard point starting that off, and a rough SMD. Got down 2-0, won the CTF. Um, then we played a really really close hard point match, which was, should have won, but a couple you know again last mm -hmm. second you know kind of last hard point hill plays from Impact just kind of set it off and. Uh, close us out. So uh, we have a new team, you know, with Karma on the roster, and I think uh, all these guys are really dedicated. So when we get back, we're just going to cut them and work to fix the little mistakes that we made here. Yeah, I really hope to see you guys stay together and, and keep building on it because, I mean, the first event with Karma, that's a pretty big change for you guys. So, you know, adding him, you know, so hope to see you guys do some more with them. So, what's next for you guys? Do you guys have any other events coming yeah, up or anything planned? The, the PAX Invitational for MLG, MLG and um, it's like a team invitational tournament there, so that's in like two or three weeks. I think we're just going to try and prepare for that. Um, obviously, that's going to be really good competition. Mm -hmm. Some of the best teams, some of the best teams in the MLG are going to be there, so um, that's going to be the event that we're, we're preparing for next. I mean, that's going to be that, the only thing that's on our mind. So you're one of the OGs of the COD community. You've been around forever. Do you have any advice to a lot of these younger kids that are out here grinding for sponsorships? And, and you know, what, what is your advice to a lot of them to, to get on the level of, of an Envy someday, or maybe even join Envy someday? Uh, you know, I think I think it just has a lot to do with uh, learning the situations in the game. I mean, just really paying attention to detail, like. Watching pro stream is really probably the number one contributing factor why we see so much competition now. Some of these teams that are showing up are giving a lot of the pro teams trouble. I mean, because they can learn how to play the game, they actually watch the pro stream and learn from them, and then implement their tactics against them. So, I mean, that's that's the main thing. Play the game a lot. Practice as much as you can. Learn from the better players. Play against better competition. Take the losses um, as they come, but learn from them. And if you do that, you really have a fast track of being successful. And uh, with COD Esports growing this year, I mean, you, you arguably played the biggest role there is with helping implement COD Caster Mode and, and finally a land lobby that works. Um, do you I mean, do you have any plans on helping Activision moving forward with Infinity Ward's new title with Ghost coming out? Oh, you know, I mean, that's something I would really love to do. I'd really love to, to jump back in and, and be able to help the developers like design more features for Esports and just make it bigger and better. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I'm going to always continue to do what I've always done in the past, or I'm just going to keep doing things that I do, you know, in the meantime. I mean, there's no reason for me to stop working with my team, coaching, um, casting when I get the chance. Uh, I'm always just going to just be here supporting the whole crowd and the players and everybody else and, and my own team because, uh, you know, I'm not going to wait around for an opportunity, uh, basically. <laughs> Essentially, I just want, I want to keep doing what I've always been doing. And uh, if that opportunity arises again, I, I'd, more than be, I'd be more than happy to step to the side from all these things and help out because in the end it, it's obviously what means the most to uh, a game like Call of Duty. You know, we want to be able to have somebody there to put those features in the game that make this bigger and better. Yeah, it was so huge this year, such a great year for COD. You got any shout outs? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I guess a big shout out to the NG sponsors, uh, Astro Gaming, Scuff Gaming, and Games PG. Those guys uh, have really been helping out our team this year. and make sure that we're getting to events and um, they just keep supporting us no matter what. So we're going to try and bring home some championships for them pretty soon, you know, like we've done in the past. And uh, just a big shout out to them and a huge shout out to all the Envy fans that have been supporting us too, even though we had a, a stumble here at this tournament. They're just the best fans in the world, man. We just do it for them. Awesome. We, we appreciate your time and I appreciate everything you do uh, for us here in COD Esports and uh, we hope to see you for a long time. Appreciate it. Thank you, Astro.